CIG have blown our minds with crazy content at CitizenCon, but the question is, when will all of this be playable? Everything that we've been showing you here at CitizenCon is our intention, not making a 100% promise, just so everyone remembers that, <laughs> to get them into Star Citizen through next year. So we're not, it's not going to be gated on having to be after Squadron 42. <laughs> So. Now, I love Chris, and I even once promised to get a tattoo of his face on my foot one day. 100,000 subscribers, here we come. But if you believe what he's saying here, you have lost your mind. Maybe you're new to the project, maybe you've not had this experience before, but Chris Roberts is not good at dates. This is a public warning. There is no chance that we get all of this in the next year. Those of us who have been around for a while will know that it's very easy for Chris Roberts to stand on a stage show us cool demos and talk about server meshing. Does anybody remember CitizenCon 2016? That event might actually be the low point of the whole project so far. It was so exciting at the time. Hype engines were up to the max, but it all turned out to be false hope. Now, I think this time is actually significantly different. In 2016, they talked about a lot of stuff. In 2023, they showed us a lot of stuff in engine actually working. But still the question remains, when will we get this stuff? So let's calm everything down and do some measured guesstimates of when these things will come. We're gonna have three categories. 2023 for the things that might come in the end of year patch. 2024 for the things that hopefully we will get next year. And then 2025 onwards for the things that unfortunately I think are gonna take a while. Feel free to angrily disagree with me in the comments if that is your thing. There was a lot of stuff shown in the engine panel, starting with the clouds, they're coming in 322. They look like a really nice update. It would be great to lose that graininess in the clouds that we currently have. And some of the new ray effects look amazing. 322 should be the end of year release. So all things going to plan, that is when we'll have this. Firetech, there is almost no chance that we get this in 2023. It looks pretty finished visually, but I would guess they're gonna have to set this up individually for each ship. And that's gonna take a long time. They did also mention that they have to scale it up for the planets. So if you're optimistic, this is a 2024 one, but I wouldn't be shocked if this tech slips into the long term for the persistent universe. There was quite a lot of water tech shown, and I think it's possible that we'll get at least some of these effects in the end of year patch. Some of the more subtle changes to the waves, I think there's no reason why they wouldn't come in 322, but I have actually heard a rumor that the bigger effects are in the pyro playground. We'll have to see whether that's true. The thing with this is that it doesn't really touch any gameplay. It's a visual effect. So I'm going to be optimistic on this one and say, maybe we'll just get all of this in 322. Upscaling. CRG's efforts to get upscaling in the game seem to be coming along. They're doing their own version and implementing FSR2 and DLSS2. In some ways, these features aren't that hard to implement, but we were given static slides, not in-game footage. So I do wonder if this isn't quite as far along as we might hope. And also, this is likely to come after Vulcan. So let's talk about Vulcan. Vulcan and Gen 12, CIG have been aiming to get them in this year, but I think as they say, Gen 12 has taken longer than they thought. And even though Vulcan is running, it currently has some performance issues. So my prediction for this one is that we won't get it in the Q4 patch, but it should come next year. Ray Trace Global Illumination. Now this is very cool and exciting. I know some people don't care about ray tracing, but I personally do think that it adds something to a game. We effectively got some early tech demos, and I think there's very little chance that this comes to us in the next 12 months. The list of things they need to do is fairly significant. Getting this working on effectively a galaxy scale is going to take some time. So this one is a long-term item for me, 2025 onwards. The Maelstrom damage system. Now, I think a lot of people are questioning whether we really need this, but it, it does look very cool. I do think it's at a very early stage. They've set it up on one ship, the Gladius, and they showed this effectively one material being destroyed. I think there's no chance that we get this this year or next year. I think this is 2025 onwards for the live servers. There's some updated audio. So they've compressed the audio sounds and they sound a lot beefier. Now, if that's something they could just apply to all of their audio effects, that shouldn't be tricky to get in. So that is possibly gonna come in the end of year patch 2023. But the realistic mode stuff that they showed off I think that sounded like it was quite early exploration. So I would say that's 2024. Moving on to the big tech items, server meshing and the replication layer. We should see the replication layer on the new preview channel soon. So that's good. 
But when we'll get server meshing in live servers in our hands? Uh, I've gone back and forth on this one. I put up a poll to help me decide. 71% of people think that we'll have it by the end of 2024 at least. We have had some more info from Benoit. It seems as though they're further along than they thought they would be, but as much as I'd love to say we'd have a basic version of server meshing in the PU in 2024, I think that's touch and go. Every single major piece of tech has taken longer than CIG predicted. In order to take what we have now, this demo, to something that works on the live servers, there is a lot of work to do. Benoit mentioned that they'll have to test parts of this on the new preview channel through the year, and my prediction is exactly that. We'll be testing this all year long, but I think it's the 2025 date for an actual live release. Engineering. This looks very cool, and I know a lot of people are really looking forward to this, but again, what they showed was very early. And in order to get this working on all of the large ships, it's going to take a while. It's possible they could just release it in a few ships and then update the rest, like the whole gold standard thing that we see. But either way, I'd be shocked if this made it in next year. The HUD map and star map all come together. These are big quality of life improvements to the game. They should dramatically change the experience of playing. I think all of these have to come together. I don't think we'll see the HUD come without the map. I think the question really is about the map. How long is it going to take them to set up that for each location? Will it work on planets seamlessly, things like caves? I think there's a good chance we see all of this next year, which is good, and that would be a pretty amazing patch. In the character advance for the panel, we had the first mention of a tiered looting system. Now, I think this is gonna be good for the game, but in order to create common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary armor for all sorts of professions, that's gonna take a long, long time. So I'm predicting this one for 2025 onwards. Hair is something they've confirmed for Q4 2024. That's good news. Just the basic ones though, but it's still a big upgrade compared to what we have. The more diverse styles are still a way off, I think, but hopefully each patch going forward will get some new hairstyles. The new character customizer looks amazing. There is a small chance that they might come with the hair in 2023, but I doubt it very much. The question with a lot of this stuff is, it's being developed for Squadron 42, so will they want to completely polish it and finish it before they port it to the PU? We'll have to see, but either way, I think this is pretty close to being finished, and if it's not going to be the end of this year, which I think is unlikely, it should be nailed on for 2024. There were some big updates shown in the first person panel. EVA looks very nice. Sliding looks like a neat trick. The interaction system has come a long, long way since they showed it last year. But I imagine getting that set up for everything in the PU is going to take a while. Could we see the new looting system separate to the HUD rework? I think that's probably unlikely. FPS scanning is looking pretty close to done. Weapon handling and scopes, backpack reloading, time to kill rework, AI improvements. I can't see a good reason why we wouldn't get all of that in the next 12 months and it should drastically change the game. Masterbos, I fear, is still a long way away. Setting up all of the ships again in the PU is going to take ages. They did show some AI combat updates. They, in theory, could come before Masterbos, but I would assume they're being tuned for the updated flight model, so that's probably unlikely. The atmospheric flight changes look great and again, should improve the game, but I don't think they're coming before Mastermos. I'm afraid this is all a solid 2025 for me. Pyro, we come to Pyro, and in one way, we're getting Pyro maybe tomorrow from the time I'm recording this video. At least some people will on the preview channel. I think CIG will roll this out to everyone over the following weeks, and it will be a way to kind of keep us entertained until they can properly link Pyro and Stanton with server meshing. So we will have Pyro technically this year, Derelict settlements, I'm going to be pretty positive here and say that we'll get them in the Q4 patch of 2023. There's no real reason not to, they look complete and they should be fairly straightforward to add to Stanton. Distribution centres and raids, I'm pretty hopeful that these come in 2024. Law wise, it doesn't make sense to have these functioning distribution centres in Pyro, so these are going to be used to fill out Stanton. The missions and raids that come with them, they don't really have any complicated mission logic, so I can't really see why we don't get this all next year. Freight elevators. I think there is a very small chance that we get freight elevators and persistent hangars in the Q4 2023 patch. So far, we know nothing about 322, but I would imagine it will come with some bigger feature. So this could be it. The safer bet would be in 2024, but let's just go crazy and say we'll get this at the end of 2023. Base building. Now, they are only just starting development for base building in Q1 2024. Everything we saw was effectively a visual mock-up. I don't think these buildings will be the assets that we eventually build. They need to work out all sorts of things about how these work. Combined with 
integrating them with pairs and serve meshing, it almost guarantees it will take a very long time. 2025 onwards is the only realistic expectation for this one. Let's do Squadron 42 as well. Obviously, that was a big part of Citizen Con. I've already said in another video that I think it's incredibly unlikely that they get everything completely polished up and ready for a 2024 launch. An example from the tech side is the ray tracing. Getting that scaled up and working in those massive locations isn't going to happen overnight. I think CIG might internally be targeting CitizenCon 2024 for an announcement or sort of release, but I think we'll save ourselves a lot of disappointment if we expect this probably in 2025. Now, having gone through all this, I realise that it all sounds fairly negative, but let me make it clear. I'm actually more excited about the project than at any other point in the last 10 years. But having followed the project so closely and having consumed every bit of information that CIG have ever put out, we have to remember how often they fail to set realistic expectations, especially around dates. This does feel like the turning of the tide, as Gandalf might say, or as Chris might say, an inflection point. I think we are finally moving towards some significant progress in Star Citizen. But it did feel like this back in 2016. It felt like it's finally happening. I really don't think this is the same as 2016, but there is still a long way before this game of our dreams becomes a reality.